It's me Imad from Nelson Darbin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to develop a power failure detector system within the Proteus. The controller which we are using in our project is the Arduino. So first of all, we must know that Arduino you know is not the built-in or integral part of the Proteus. So first you should have to download the library of Arduino from Google. For it, you should have to search on Google. So after inserting the library in Proteus, you can take your Arduino Uno. Any type of Arduino will work fine. So we can take Arduino Uno here. Okay. After Arduino Uno, for to see the output, at least we need one serial monitor or virtual terminal its rxt pin must be connected with the txt of arduino and the txt of uh, virtual terminal will be with the rx of the arduino so it will be connected like this okay now after this output screen or seal monitor we can do one thing that uh, first we have to take our 220 volt power signal and for it we need one sine wave uh, can we use sine signal yes yes we can use this one okay this is our sine signal we can change it to 220 volts okay after it we need the transformer so transformer so with single primary and say so we will just take this simple transformer okay after the simple transformer we can connect both the primary end of the transformer with the ground and the uh, sine wave that is 220 Okay, after it, we need to select our AC voltmeter so that we can measure what is the output of the, uh, what's called as the transformer. A and uh, before testing the transformer, uh, you need to delete this Arduino, okay, for, for time being because uh, it will it will create an error, okay, without hex file insertion, okay. So, Okay, so it is our works. Okay, now we will change the frequency. Your frequency is 1 hertz, so we will change it to 50 hertz. So now we will see what will be the output. So it is like 155. Okay, 155. And uh, what about uh, okay? And we will one more thing we need to take is the oh, yeah, yeah. AC, AC, AC voltmeter. So we will check the voltages on primary side as well as on the secondary side. So run it and see that 155 and 155. So we have to change the turn ratio. Uh, okay, now we will change it to like 5 Henry. Okay, so now we will check. Okay, so. Uh, so we will change it to 5 Henry and we will change it to 1 Henry primary to secondary and now we can see that it is converting our 155 volt signal to 69 volts. Now we will uh, reduce some bit more or like we either we can increase it and we also can decrease it to 0 0.5 Henry is okay. So now it is round about like 34 okay can we decrease it some bit more yes we can uh, by increasing the inductance of the primary coil so it, it reduces to like uh, 27 but i think that we we need some more like uh, 0.1 henry or like this and this to 20 Henry okay so now hopefully it will reduce reduce it to okay now it, it converts our uh, 
power signal that is of like uh, 220 peak to peak and 155 like RMS. So it's okay if it is 155 for 200 or like that. Okay, it's not a problem. So its amplitude, its uh, peak is 440, RMS is 155, amplitude is 220. We can use anyone. It's not a problem. Okay. So after it, we need to take 7805 voltage regulator. So this is our analog voltage regulator. It will convert uh, what's called as the uh, AC. Uh, sorry, it's it will convert 12 volt DC into 5 volt DC. But before going, uh, we will need a bit rectification. So for it, we will just use one bridge rectifier. If there is any, so there is bridge rectifier. If we have okay, yeah, we have bridge rectifier. So we will move it here. Okay, now now connect it like that. Okay, now after it, we can we can get our DC output so we can go and we can take our DC voltmeter so DC voltmeter must be connected with this and with this side okay now it is 10.59 AC and it is converting it to 1.57 volts I think that uh, it is a bit less but uh, what to do we, we have to think about it that why it is so so we need to like uh, gradually increasing the increase the Henry's okay that is 0.5 okay now we will see now it is a bit okay but I think that we, we can go for one Henry so now hopefully it will okay still it is like less so two Henry's Okay, now now it is okay. So after it, we need some what's called as the voltage regulator like this. So so it it must be connected with ground, and we can also connect one ground here like this. Okay, hopefully it will not going to affect our. Yeah, it, 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 it is affecting a bit, but it's okay. We, we need at least one ground, okay? So we can change the inductance to like five Henry's. Okay, so, so now it's working fine. Okay, now, now we can take our output from the pin number three of voltage regulator and the ground, okay? So, okay, now we can move it aside or okay now we can use our Arduino Uno so go and take Arduino Uno R3 so this is Arduino so what we need to do is to is to feed the output to the pin number A0 of the Arduino also, we need to connect the virtual terminal that is RX pin to the TX and TX pin to the RX of the Arduino Uno. Okay, now our circuit is completed. So now we can see that this is our circuit. Okay, now we need to go to open our, our, our Arduino. IDE that is integrated development environment. Okay, go to file and then new. Okay, and here we need to uh, there are two functions wide setup and wide loop, and in wide setup we need to initialize our serial communication. Why it is so because there must be calling of serial function because we need to see the output on the virtual terminal or which is also called as the 
serial monitor so here we will int a is equal to analog read of a0 and int b is equal to map of a comma n23 comma 0 comma 255 mapping is just done for to for to uh, maximize the resolution of the uh, signal so now we will see if if b is greater than like uh, 150 or like that then we will say serial dot print ln sorry it's a serial dot print ln our uh, power of power of sorry it's uh, like uh, if it is less than like um, if it is less than 100 okay or or, or 50 is okay for it uh, yeah 50 b is less than 50 okay then we can say power is off and we also need to uh, see the value of b okay now we will run it okay after its compilation is done we need to copy its hex link so uh, what it is saying is okay yeah here it's 0 comma 1023 yeah okay another problem here so yeah yeah there is one semicolon again Okay, now after it, you can see this link that is ino.hex. You need to copy this link that is control C and paste it in, inside the Arduino. Okay, so here. Okay. Now we will also put one push button here for to on and off the AC power because we have to see that either. AC power is there or not for it we need to insert one push button this and this okay now it is saying power off power off so now now the value is 255 okay But now you can see the output on serial monitor but wait we have to do some sort of okay if p is less than 50 then we can see that power off and if b is greater than 50 then we can write power okay so now we will run it Uh, no need to put the hex link or hex file link again and again okay now it is saying power okay uh, when we will remove now it is saying it's power off now power okay uh, it's uh, again making problem but it's wait it is saying power off permanently okay power okay okay for, for to reduce this error that is there is we can see that this error quite so because we are not getting the perfect dc okay so for it we will do one thing we will insert one 1000 microfarad capacitor Okay, so we can 
use it here on the output in order to filter the AC component or ripple factors or these things. So now it is power off and now it is saying power OK. Then now it is saying power OK. Why it is so? Now because you can see that capacitor capacitor is taking time and discharging yeah so now it is saying power off yeah so power off and when we will make it on it is saying power okay now after the values are yeah now you can see that values are decaying because capacitor is discharging Now it is in power up. So hopefully you got the concept regarding the uh, making and designing of this power failure detector circuit. So thanks for visiting our channel.